Hello YouTube. This video presentation is going to cover two items that are currently available uh, on eBay from a vendor. And I just wanted to touch base because the muzzle brake that you see on this AK variant is something that was custom made. It is uh, designed for originally for a Mosin Nagan rifle, but it can also be used on an AK variant as well as a Vepr. Now this muzzle brake is uh, made by uh, Tyler 4590 and uh, I'll put a link to his site there on uh, eBay. He is an approved vendor. Now this is made of steel and it's also a black, so black oxide finish. It has three ports for three chambers but the best thing about this is that this was a custom made to order item for me. Originally, as I mentioned, it is for a Mosinagon rifle. However, he was willing to take on to make it uh, fit for an AK variant as well as a Vepr rifle. Now, the good thing about this muzzle brake is that it is also crowned. I'm not sure how much the camera is going to pick up on this. But uh, it, it's a very nice muzzle brake. It's a little over two and a half inches in length. Now, compared to a AK-74 type muzzle brake, it's almost about the same length the muzzle brake for the AK-74 as you can tell is because of this additional spacing here is maybe about a quarter of an inch longer this happens to be an NC star muzzle brake that I did uh, paint it too was a uh, and black oxide however it uh, started rusting on me so that's where I put a little rust-oleum on here and that's why it's camoed to uh, try to match the paint scheme of the uh, rifle that you see here now one of the other items that he has also available to offer is an extended charging handle. Now this one actually is secured by two um, Allen wrench uh, screws and it is kind of profound, uh, deep, but what I like about it is it has a little bit of style and character to it. So it is gnarled, but unlike others that are typically you have one screw like so and you have that, this one actually is secured by two screws and the best thing about it is it's towards the bottom of the charging handle and I you've seen one of these on my other videos for my Vepr and I like the first one that I got from him that I ordered this in conjunction when we talked about designing this one uh, this particular muzzle brake what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take off the muzzle brake from the rifle to show you the crown because I like the end results of how this brake looks not only on the rifle but the finish it is uh, very well done and I think it's definitely a, an asset it, it's a, a very nice muzzle brake as you can see right there it does have a target type crown here I'm not sure how well the lights gonna pick it up but the ports are very nice now there is no uh, chamfered ports at top or anything like that but it is right hand, I'm sorry, correction, left hand 14 by 1 threading. And he did cut the little notch for me. Now the original one that he has on the site on eBay, it, it does not have this notch. And it's originally meant to be threaded on for a uh, Mosin variant. And he can make them in different types of thread pitches. But this one actually ended up costing me $65.00 and he offers these uh, extended charging handles for $18 shipped uh, definitely reach out to him like I said I'm gonna go ahead and put include the link on his eBay and uh, give him an opportunity the uh, Made in America product uh, gentleman's been doing this for 40 years having to do with uh, he's a machinist by trade learned to trade in the Navy and now he's doing accessories for the AKs uh, now with the AKs and the Vepers, but originally started out with the Mosin Nagant. Now he also offers a side, mill, uh, side rail mount, which kind of goes in the tradition similar to this um, Pro Mag. However, it's curved or hex. He also offers one for the uh, Lee Enfield and several other rifles. So definitely check out his listing. He's worth checking out. But this definitely, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm really, really pleased with this charging handle. And uh, the other thing, of course, the good thing about any of these charging handles is that you can always use a little red Loctite, tighten it down. It is secured by two versus one. It does give you more room for charging. So if you're going to do in maybe a stress situation, 
it's gnarled so as you can see from my hands I could get two fingers on here successfully to pull the charging handle and um, be positive purchase whereas others are typically about one so it's kind of similar to this type of uh, style to hold which is fine however it can wear on your fingers whereas you have two you have a little bit more positive um, grip and purchase to handle this but uh, this is also in black oxide very nice finish and uh, someone that uh, lends me their wrench to use for the range was really impressed with this and they said yeah you definitely need to get some more of these so once again I'd like to thank the vendor I'll put their link and thank you for watching enjoy your rifles <laughs>